Seoul's top security advisor made a surprise visit to Washington to meet with his American counterpart, John Bolton. The two agreed to continue close cooperation and communication to ultimately establish lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula. Hwang Wojun shares with us what was discussed. Ahead of the historic cross-border summit, South Korea and the U.S. agreed to continue working closely together to ensure their respective summits with North Korea are successful. The presidential office of Chawade announced on Wednesday that Seoul's National Security Office Director Chong Yong met with the newly appointed U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton in Washington on Tuesday local time. Chong's visit to Washington was the second one this month alone. His meeting with Bolton took about an hour as they exchanged their views on the upcoming summits and pledged to continue close bilateral cooperation and communication. Chong and Bolton agreed that President Moon and President Trump will hold a telephone conversation immediately after the inter-Korean summit and discuss the summit's outcomes. And apparently, there will be more than just a phone call. We can expect the leaders of Seoul and Washington to speak face-to-face -face soon after. Chong and Bolton have also agreed to push for a meeting between the two presidents before the U.S.-North Korea summit. President Trump has said his meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will likely take place in May or early June. President Moon has said time and time again that success at the inter-Korean summit must lead to a successful summit between Washington and Pyongyang. That's the way to achieve complete denuclearization and establish lasting peace on the peninsula. The recent talks between the top security advisors of South Korea and the U.S. show both countries are determined to make that happen. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.